HMS Viking was a tribal class destroyer of the Royal Navy launched in 1909 and sold for scrap in 1919. She was the only destroyer ever to have six funnels. HMS Viking was one of five tribal class destroyers ordered as part of the Royal Navy's 1907 08 shipbuilding program. She was laid down at Palmer's Jarrow Shipyard on June 11, 1908, and was launched on September 14, 1909. The tribal class destroyers were to be powered by steam turbines and use oil fuel rather than coal, and be capable of 33 knots. But detailed design was left to the builders, which meant that individual ships of the class differed greatly. Viking was 290 feet 3 inches long overall and 280 feet 2 plus 3 quarters inches between perpendiculars, with a beam of 27 feet 5 inches and a draft of 9 feet 9 inches. Normal displacement was 1,090 long tons, with full load displacement 1,210 long tons. She had a turtleback forecastle topped by a raised forward gun platform that also carried the ship's bridge. The raised gun platform acted as a breakwater, causing heavy spray that made it difficult to work the forward gun or use the bridge. Six Yarrow boilers fed steam at 220 pounds per inch 2 to Parsons steam turbines, giving 15,500 shaft horsepower and driving three propeller shafts. The outtakes from the boilers were fed to six funnels, making Viking the Royal Navy's only six-funnel destroyer. Range was 1,725 nautical miles at 15 knots. Gun armament consisted of two four-inch guns, the 12-pounder guns carried by earlier tribals having been proved ineffective by trials against the old destroyer HMS Skate in 1906. Two 18-inch torpedo tubes were carried. The ship had a complement of 71. Viking was commissioned in June 1910, having reached a speed of 33. Four knots during sea trials. On commissioning, Viking joined the first destroyer flotilla, remaining part of that unit until 1913. In October that year, the tribals were officially designated the F-Class, and as such the letter F was painted on Offre D's bows. In February 1914, the tribals, whose range was too short for effective open sea operations, were sent to Dover, forming the 6th Destroyer Flotilla. On the outbreak of the First World War, the 6th Flotilla formed the basis of the Dover Patrol, with which the tribal class, including Vikings served for the duration of the war. In October 1914, the Dover Patrol was deployed to help support Belgian ground forces during the Battle of the Iser, carrying out shore bombardment operations. Viking suffered an explosion of its forward gun, wounding two and causing the ship to be withdrawn from the operations. Dot. Viking after hitting a mine on February 20, 1915, Viking was patrolling anti-submarine nets in the Dover Strait when she saw indicator buoys being disturbed, and in the belief that this was due to a submarine being caught on the nets called up several destroyers, including sister ship Offrey D and drifters to investigate. Although an explosive anti-submarine sweep was fired, no submarine was damaged. On March 4, 1915, the German submarine U-8 became caught in the Dover Straits nets, and the resulting disturbance was spotted by the drifter Robern, which called up the nearby destroyer patrol, including Viking, Gurkha, Maori, and Nubian. Viking fired her explosive sweep with no effect, but after the submarine was spotted by Maori, Gurkha used her own explosive sweep to force the German submarine to the surface. After briefly being shelled, the submarine was scuttled and abandoned, the crew surrendering. Viking was damaged after hitting a mine near the Colbart Bank on January 29, 1916. Ten of Viking's crew were killed. On the night of 26 October 27, 1916, German torpedo boats of their Flanders flotilla carried out a large scale raid into the English Channel hoping to attack the drifters watching the anti-submarine nets of the Dover Barrage, and to sink Allied shipping in the channel. Viking was one of six tribal-class destroyers waiting at readiness in Dover Harbor, and when the Germans attacked the drifters and sank the supporting destroyer HMS Flirt, they were ordered to intervene. The destroyers split up as they left Dover Harbor, with Viking leading Mohawk and Tartar from the western entrance to the port, while the other three destroyers left by the other entrance and failed to join up with Viking's group. The group led by Viking encountered a group of unknown warships. When Viking challenged the ships, the German ships replied with shellfire that hit Mohawk and caused her steering to jam. This caused Mohawk to block the course of Viking when she attempted to pursue the German torpedo boats, allowing them to escape unharmed. Nubian and Amazon separately ran into a second German formation, the 17th Half Flotilla, with Nubian first being badly damaged by a torpedo and Amazon then heavily hit by German shells. In 1916, 
as an attempt to counter the superior range of the 10. 5 cm SKL-45 guns of German torpedo boats, Viking was experimentally rearmed, replacing the forward 4-inch gun with a BL 6-inch MK7. The 6-inch gun proved too large for the tribal class, and other ships did not receive this modification. On Viking, it was replaced in late 1916 by a QF 4-inch MKV gun. Thanks for watching.